Hi, this is Rob from Major League Eventing. Just wanted to give you all a quick little tutorial on eQuest File. eQuest File has been one of our sponsors for a while, and we just uh, wanted to give everyone just a little tutorial on how fantastic this platform is. If you've been listening to the show, you've been hearing all about eQuest File, and we just wanted to go ahead and just show you a couple of the cool features of that in a, in a short little video and see what you guys think. So, quick first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to eQuestFile.com and we're going to come check out the home page and uh, everything's pretty cool. So if you cruise on down just a little bit, you'll see right here is our interview that we did with the founder, Ellen Aiken, and she can tell you all about herself and, and about the product. So probably better than we can, but uh, if you're interested, go ahead and check that out on this, on this home page as well as on anywhere you listen to our podcast. So you cruise on down, it tells you, you know, why you're going to love it. Super simple, all that good stuff. This is pretty important right here. Works on any device. So we're recording this on a PC. Uh, you can use this on any Apple product. There's an app in the App Store. And soon we will uh, see a Android app coming out. So, But no worries if you don't have an Android. You can just use it right on your phone, tablet, iPad, whatever. And that's what makes this very special is that Every user can log in on whatever they're using, whatever device they have handy. Come on down here, it talks about the features. And down here is really cool. Uh, just tells you exactly what's so great about it. So it's very user friendly, which we're going to show you all about that. All types of cool stuff you can share with the employees and owners. We'll show you about that. You can sync your data with all the different uh, devices, like we said, and no Wi Fi needed. And it's got great support. So what you'll do is. All over this front page, you'll see that there's a 14-day free trial. You can go ahead and sign up for that. So you just click that button, and this is how you'll sign up. So here's some plans. Um, there's a basic, a premium, unlimited. And basically, you're going to want to go through this, but basically what you're going to see, the big difference is there's a 10-horse plan, a 20-horse plan, and an unlimited horse plan. And most all the other features are the same. So you can pay monthly. Or you can save 15% and go yearly. And you'll see that there's a little bit better pricing for that. So what you'll do from there, and you're going to subscribe, boom, and get yourself going. You're going to fill out all this info, and away you go. So once you go ahead and log in, uh, put all your user data in there, then you're going to come up. Here's going to be your login screen. So we're going to see it's going to be very simple. You'll see Rob at MajorLeagueEventing.com if anyone out there wants to ever get a hold of me. It's going to hit the old login. And tick-tock, tick-tock. So here we go, home page. So you're going to see a couple cool things. Here's the quick links. This is really, really cool. Now, remember, this is on your computer, so on your phone or tablet or iPad, it might be just a little bit different. But basically, all these features are there. Uh, you have a horses, your veterinarians, contact information, and different users. So you see over here, you have the calendar. The calendar has the days. You can click on different things like that. But first, we'll start off with horses. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to check out the horses. Click on the horses tab either there or at the top. And first horse we're going to check out is Bubba. So you can see here we have Bubba, Chester, Esther, and Ferguson, and then there's some more down the line. We'll check out Bubba first though. So you see, very easy stuff. At the top there's going to be a photo of Bubba. As soon as my internet catches up, boom, there's Bubba. Show name, who the rider is, who the owner is. Important information like last farrier visit, last dental, last Coggins, the wormer, all that important stuff right at the top. Then as you cruise on down, we have, you know, you can enter anything, USCF number, quarter horse number, what barn, what stall number it's in on down the line. More information about who Bubba is, how old Bubba is, how big, a little bit of main stuff there. We come down here, very cool. The feed, you enter in the feeding, so that way anybody who ever is involved can always look and see what does Bubba get there's no question and it can be easily edited later on if need be so real quick cool kind of things here is you have these little tabs down here uh, we have things like health records 
so we can go down scroll down see when the farrier was out and see when the vet was out and what we had done so let's just take a quick peek at this so you can see 10 1 19 got rabies vaccine people can add notes whatever whatever you need we'll back it up I mean come on down this is what's really really cool so we mentioned before you can put like sales videos or, or, or items like that in so very easy you can you can show a little video about your training so here was a training video bring this puppy up high up good hand up square turn stay slow left fingers wow well done Bubba <laughs> so you could check out things here's some other cool stuff so you'd label this whatever you want whatever it might be it might be medical records Coggins pedigrees so let's see what we have here Bubba had some medical stuff he had a diagnosis right front fetlock yada 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 so this way you always have a uh, you have all your paperwork in one place you just snap a shot of it download it and it's here so if you ever lose this piece of paper you know no worries it's it's saved in the app another thing you can see is you can see Bubba's pedigree comes up Bubba brings right on up well bred so there's again more, more of his paperwork that you don't have to worry about losing you can keep your, obviously you're gonna keep your paper copies and then later on if you ever need you can always print this material back out from from the app so if we go back to the home page let's go ahead and we'll check our users so here you go what you're gonna see is you're gonna see all the different users and you're gonna see for instance Karen so there's Karen's email if you ever need to get a hold of Karen you see all of her information she's got the role of barn owner so if she has the another role that's a lesser role where she has less access being as she has a barn owner access she has access to all the full features back home check out the veterinarians so again you know uh, if it's a boarding barn and people have multiple different vets you can you can have all these vets listed or let's say you have one veterinary practice but there's multiple vets in there and you want all their different information you want the um, emergency contact numbers the names yada yada or what horse gets what vet so again that's all in there if there's ever a need to edit right here in the edit tab piece of cake so now we're back home and now we want to say well how do we add different things so over here we have a little plus button and we can add a horse super simple add a horse upload a photo the barn name show name who the riders are who the owners are all the different information that we saw earlier non-routine care any any health information that you want to put in it's right there easy enough routine health care and what's gonna happen is this is gonna self populate so that all this information is right at your fingertips general barn work grooming exercise training and create an event so we're back at the home screen now we're gonna do some practical stuff here so let's say we want to go ahead and add some training to our horse so you're the head trainer of your farm and you're setting up tomorrow's work schedule so tomorrow you pick tomorrow's day or whatever day you want you can pick multiple days let's say we're gonna pick multiple days so let's say all week we're gonna make the same hit next then we're gonna pick Chester hit next and Chester's gonna do dressage every day let's say 
I know that's not practical, but let's just say he does. And then we're going to come up here. We're going to assign the rider. So we're going to assign Karen because she loves dressage. So Karen is going to do dressage every day. Chester will be trained on this day and for five other days with Karen doing dressage. Save it. And boom, then it's in there. So if we look at the 12th, which is tomorrow, we will see Esther's going to get hacked. All this stuff is going to happen. And so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead, we're going to look at our calendar. We're going to click on the 12th. And we're going to see what we have. And there it is. Chester is going to get dressage written by Karen. So we'll go back home. You see up here at the top, you have a lot of easy tabs. The calendar is easy. You can run reports different communities, which is a lot of the stuff that you're going to see over in this section here. But, you know, everyone has different ways that they like using the computer. Some people like doing pictures like this. Some people like using the top. So they added everything for us. So we have reports, summaries. You can print out summaries. So then after you go through all that stuff, all the cool tools and all that stuff, if you come on down, then you can click on a day. This person's going to be exercise and training Bubba. They're going to have a lesson at noon, and that's going to be Juliana. So then when she's all done, she can put in a note. She could say, uh, school three-foot grid worked on straightness. Save it. There we go. There we go. School three foot grid worked on straightness. We come back home and we can keep an eye on that. And if things are done, just check them off. They're done. They get crossed off. So then anyone who checks in, logs in, if the boss logs in on their different on their login, they'll see that these tasks have been done. And those tasks could again, they could be barn chores, etc. So, again, if we come over here, there's different things like barn chores. If we want to add a barn chore on this day, let's say you're going to power wash stalls. And that looks like a good job for me. Boom. So then on the 13th, You're going to see there's going to be some other items there. We keep coming on down. General barn duties. Rob Bowersox is going to power wash the stalls. So when I get all done, I just click them all off, and then away we go. So, well, I think we are going to wind it down with that. That's pretty much just a general overview of how eQuest File works. Uh, if you have some time, go ahead and sign up. It's a free 14-day trial. Just sign on up and give it a shot. Hopefully you like it. Hopefully this uh, shows you all the great things. We just skimmed over the top, but again, there's the feeding and the vet and the farrier information. You could put your vets and farriers as users on this if they're techie people and they and they like to be involved in that way. You could put horse owners in there. You could put sales videos in here. So uh, please give it a check it out. If you have any questions, you can always ask us or go to eQuest file and and uh, submit a question. So we hope you enjoyed and um, thanks a lot.